driver's side down, the helmet side up, your feet on the pedal, your hands on the bars, and hey world, how about a little less war and a lot more love? Three, two, one, go! And it's underway! What's going on guys? Uh, welcome to uh, Bike Nation channel. Uh, this is the Tour de Marietta Stage 1 race. Uh, it's a couple weeks ago. I'm a little late to post this. It's been really busy. Um, this was a fun race. Uh, this was a fun two-day race. There's a race the next day. It's a road race. I think it's like a four-mile circuit uh, that we do, I think, uh, nine laps on it. Uh, but this is the this is the crit uh, first day is the crit and uh, as you can see on the right it's like a it's like a it's like a little boot shaped uh, course um, uh, I think it was a uh, it's I did this race last year and uh, this year was uh, um, it was pretty much the same as last year it was um, it was fast and uh, it was really hard to move up uh, in the field and if you got caught you know 15 riders back um it was really hard to uh, uh, stay in the group because uh, you were always uh you know spreading out every corner um, only because the turns were really hard to um to take fast um especially when it was like a big group so if you weren't like in the top you know 15 um it was you were pretty much hitting brakes over every corner uh, especially this corner right here this this left and then a quick another quick other left um it was really tight so uh, I wanted to be like near the front every time on this on this turn um, but uh, so most of the race I stayed I stayed near the front I tried not to go back uh, until the end um, where I did get shuffled to the back and uh, I was a little tired um, I felt pretty good for this race uh, but I did feel like I um, I wasted a lot of energy at the beginning um, these juniors uh, had me working from the beginning uh, they looked like they wanted to break away so i wanted to stay on their wheels as much as possible keep them really close by um you know um i didn't think anything was going to get away but uh i didn't want to risk it um a couple races um you know some breakaways got away that didn't look like they were very dangerous and they actually got away um so i wasn't taking any chances i was staying up here in the front uh, trying to make sure uh, I could see something go if it went and try to, you know, react right away. Um, and uh, in case you guys don't know, I ride for Team Go Fast. Um, and there's a couple of us in here. I think there's like eight or nine of us. So, uh, uh, I mean, our plan was just to uh, conserve as much energy and uh, try to work together if we need to. Um, and then obviously uh, get together at the end for a sprint. But, I mean... You'll see um, things got shuffled around and we weren't able to do it. Um, so, uh, yeah, look at the juniors who are non stop attacking. There's a Velo guy attacking again. Um, there's Jack from uh, Rose Red Bikes. He takes it a couple digs in the front, man. He was, he was working, man. I knew he was trying to get away, but. Um, I was up here. I know other other riders were very motivated to keep everything together. So, um, unfortunately, those guys um, they couldn't get away. I was kind of hoping I got lucky and was up here for a preem, but um, yeah, most people went for the preems, and I, I just didn't have the legs to um, go with anything like that. You know, it was really fast. Um, like right here, there's like separation right here. Um, Eli's moving up, uh, so I'm kind of getting close. I'm like, ah, oh, these these are gonna try to work together up here. I was like, okay. Um, so Eli goes. I think he puts in a little dig, and then he kind of sits up. Or no, he doesn't. Oh yeah, the Velo Kids guy goes. I think he was thinking Eli was gonna go, and so he tries to go on his wheel. So I'm like, okay, maybe he might attack from this. And so I can't tell. They're like starting to sit up, coming around them. I'm like, okay. I don't want to get uh, swarmed and, and then the, the two jacks go <laughs> here goes the velo guy again I'm like oh my god these guys are non-stop so like I said I, I mean I, I got a little tired at the beginning um, I was just like up here trying to make sure I stayed on these guys wheels um, and if I got a way to break that'd be great but um, yeah I was trying not to take anything too hard but 
and these two riders up here. Uh, I wasn't really too worried about them, so I, I figured they're, they're close enough so I can bridge if they stay away, but I, I didn't think they were going to stay away. Um, you know, like I said, the field was pretty hungry, so I didn't think they were going to stay away too much, so I just get to the front and kind of set pace a little bit. Uh, I'm not going too hard, as you can see, I'm only going like 26 miles an hour. But I want to be up here because it's it's a lot smoother than being in the pack, um, so that's what I'm trying to do here. Um, so apart from uh, being in the front, you know, something I noticed in this race was uh, what that was very key is uh, knowing when to move up and when like good spots were to move up. Um, I long this straightaway, and uh, on the next straightaway on the other side, on the left side, um, right before the, before the start finish like halfway up like it would bunch up um, and it was a great time to move up um, move up positions um, like you'll see right here um, everyone comes out of this corner pretty hot um, and then they get, only get like halfway up the street and then they start slowing down so like you'll see like around here um, so we're gonna slow down a little bit right now I think so it starts slowing down as you can see everyone always attacks here or moves up here so uh, that's the, oh, I think he was going for, uh, pre uh, not preems, but uh, points for the Omnium, um, which I think he, I'm not sure if he wins, but uh, he wins this, he wins both stages actually, dude uh, has a mean sprint, so, um, but yeah, like I said, th this little spot was the perfect time to move up on the left side, um, that's something to, to, to take, um, to try to pay attention in when you're racing, you know. Um, in case you do get dropped or you get like you know tired know when, where it's a good spot to like move up so you need to really pay attention to that um, I know we're all just focused on the wheel in front of us but uh, you know keeping your head up uh, trying to look out for things like that to make your ride or your race easier um, is, a gr is a really good advantage to have on other riders that are new to the sport or just don't know about it like you know um, and same thing I don't like turns and stuff I like to like leave a little bit of a gap majority of the time and then kind of just hit full gas and then just come right back to the wheel um, I don't do it too much here in this in this uh, crit only because uh, it took me a while to get used to these these turns I mean more like it took me a while to get used to the turns with everyone around me because I feel like people were taking funny lines through those things um, I don't know if everyone ever got used to taking the lines but um, so I wasn't very efficient on those on the turns, but yeah, like I said, I'm up here, um, and these, <laughs> like I said, these two juniors, man, they they just kept going. I'm not sure if this guy uh, five uh, eighty four eighty four, th yeah, thirty four is a is a junior or not. But I mean, these guys kept you know staying like attacking or like looking like they were gonna attack, and I was just like, man, what's going on with these guys, man? It's the beginning of the race, man. Relax. I wanted to start easy. You know settle into the race and here goes again look at the Velo guy I'm like man so I try to jump on this guy's wheel and I'm like he's he's stepping on it I'm like yeah I don't know I don't really want to do that we're going 30 miles an hour already I don't really want to go that that hard um, I don't want to blow up um, so I'm just trying to keep it consistent uh, keep it close enough to where we don't get separated I think I have the field right behind me so um, like yeah like I, I I just didn't want to like sprint out of anything right now I, mean, I wasn't crazy tired right now but I wasn't also I was also thinking like I need to save something for the end you know like um, I don't want to just blow up trying to catch these guys so I think around here I did I think I did have a little bit of a gap um, so, so I put my head down I was like well maybe I should bridge so I don't I, I don't think I bridged over though I just got really close to them and I kind of just saw the peloton coming uh, right behind me so I kind of sat up a little bit and uh, but I mean th just me doing this uh, um, motivates the field to like chase too and if they don't well then I'll get a gap and you know then I will just put you know a gall in and try to get up to the break but uh, um, yeah, I think right here, like the the field's like right on me, so I'm like, all right, well, you guys take over. Um, they're already chasing, so there's no point in me like trying to really close the gap fully because uh, they're already coming after me. They're gonna come after them, so 
So I'll be here. I'm like, all right, well, where are you guys at? Let's go. Um, and, you know, I think that was it. I think that was a smart move just because uh, um, I would have just wasted a match right there, like a really big match if I would have bridged up to them and we were coming back anyways. Um, so, so here I'm just sliding back in. Like I said, I'm not trying to go back too far because I know from the, you know, the previous year that uh, it was just too crazy in the back. It was too surgy. It was too, you know, like... Um, sketchy like people I don't know they just it's just hard to take lines when there's like five people wide in a turn you know it's just it's easier to you know line up behind a guy and take the turn one by one you know um, so that's why I try to make 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 sure that I was staying in the front at all times um, at least as much as I could um, here's other uh, other two juniors in a race I think um, yeah, the, I felt like, uh, this race was all, <laughs> the juniors were, like, on top of this race, man. They were giving us a run for our money, man. So, you see the pace is, like, picking up, but it's because they were chasing. And, uh, I'm trying to keep an eye on the front, make sure no one's, no one else is attacking. That seems pretty, uh, dangerous, but it seems to be all brought back together. And... Sorry, sorry for that yawn. You know, doing this uh, while you know having a full-time job and training still and uh, taking care of my kiddos and so daddy duties. You know, yeah. This I think I almost yeah. This guy hits his brakes and I bump into this guy on the left. Kind of looks at me like man, be careful. Or I think he says you're good. I don't know what he said, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, the guy in front of me hit brakes like he just like locked up a little real quick and kind of forced me to kind of drift off to the left. Um, uh, but I mean, there's no reason to ca to crash for something like that. Like you know, someone does that to you, you know, just kind of I don't know. Control your bike. I mean, there's nothing much you can do. If you got to move, you got to move. I mean, don't swing your bike and totally take the whole field out. Like just try to hold a different line. And, uh, and roll with it, you know? Um, so, I, you know, you know there's guys behind you, so if you know that, that's... I mean, you can't always avoid a crash, but, I mean, if you know you got to drift off to the left a little bit, um, just prepare to, like, you know, bump someone. And it's, and that's fine. It happens in crits. It, it's okay. If you don't... If you touch someone, it's not the end of the world, dude. Just keep riding, my dude. <laughs> Uh, don't purposely try to bump someone, but I mean, you know, sometimes you get, you're gonna bump someone, and it's fine. You don't need to crash, you don't need to fall down, you don't need to flop on your bike. I hate seeing that dudes like touch, like they get touched and they're like, ugh, and then they just flop, and I'm like, oh my god, bro, like, you could have totally saved that. But, yeah. I think there was a couple, like, uh, I saw other videos, um, the dudes almost going down. I mean, those were pretty, uh, um, crazy little uh like almost uh one guy almost unclipped or he unclipped and he couldn't like he was riding and he unclipped and then another guy like almost lost his wheel on that turn or lost his like back wheel like he like i don't know he locked up locked it up or something and he skidded and it's pretty crazy i was like whoa i didn't even know that happened but see right here like i'm, I'm more than 15 wheels back and see i'm like getting kind of pinched be between these two guys dudes in front of me are hitting brakes on these turns um Feel like I'm going to 22 and then I gotta sprint right back up to like 25 26 27 and and I'm like I see I already know I'm this is happening so I'm like trying to go up I'm not trying to stay behind these guys um, although like you would think that you know the further back you are the more rest you are you you know rest you're getting from uh, the draft and stuff um, that's not always the case um, sometimes you're going back and you're actually you know wasting more energy because like you see like you're hitting brakes uh, at each corner and you're not like carrying your momentum you can't like get a good rhythm of like pedaling you know and pulling up and you know it's just hard to like get in some good rhythm right you know so um, it's just go to the front if you can man I think right here I'm asking my teammate and he's feeling good I'm supposed to be leading him out uh, what she's supposed to be leading my other teammate out uh, Ray um, that was the plan because um, he he has a pretty uh, gnarly sprint um, I, I don't really have a big sprint but I, I, can, I can 
I can pull for a while, I just can't, I can't sprint, like, I can't get up to, like, 40 miles an hour or nothing. Um, just not that strong. I'm not that big, I'm not that little, I'm just, like, in between. Um, my buddy Matt, I'm laying them in, I'm like, hey, man, go ahead, he looks like he's trying to move up, too. Um, so I'm like, yeah, let's go. But right here, we're gonna bunch up, but this corner always bunches up, like I said, this is a good time to, like, you know, come from the back and move all the way to the front, so it slows up, um, and then obviously protect your inside right here. I, I try to protect my inside as much as possible. I don't, <laughs> I don't want people, you know, coming from under me. Uh, so, yeah, look at uh, what else happened in this race? What else happened in this race? Uh, I mean, as far as like our team working together, I mean, I feel like we were trying to, but uh, this race was a little hectic so uh, so as you, you can see where I mean some of us are together um, uh, I don't know like it just uh, we we had plans to work together um, and I just feel like we weren't all clear on what what that meant um, so um, you'll see like during this race like that we're covering attacks or we're t attacking ourselves um, by ourselves like you see Matt up there um, he's going up there but nobody's going with him like I'm not going with him you know my teammate on the all the way to the right Steven's not going with him Ray's not going with him you know like we have other teammates and that no one's going with him so he's going to the front by himself um, and that's great and all he's you know Matt's pretty strong so I mean he could do that but I mean there's no reason for him to waste that effort um, and just you know attack or, or pull the field or like cover an attack and then he's like you know dead um, and then we can't use him for the lead out because he's burned out um, uh, Instead of um, you'll see uh, the the next video I'll upload is stage two and um, We we get together and we make it a point to ride together um, Not to like take any pulls uh, Solo like if we're gonna you know pull something back make sure our teammates our, t our team is on, my, on our wheel and uh, You know we're pulling it back together and we're not just like you know I'm taking a pull and then I'm, I'm looking back and there's another person from a different team and just sits up because he doesn't want to pull then I just wasted my effort for nothing and we didn't pull the brake back you know versus you know my teammates on there we're keeping the pace um, you know consistent uh, not hard but consistent and we're, we're you know, gaining ground on the breakaway um, which we do a really good job of I think on, on day two um, so yeah, sadly, this this race, I, we, we didn't do it. Um, I feel like we were a little scattered. Um, I think uh, um, I think we all rode well, it just uh, and we're all uh, coming into form. I think a, a lot of us are still um, kind of getting our training um, underway. But uh, I mean, I, I wasn't too. I, I can't say anything like too crazy, like bad about our team. I mean, I think we we did pretty good. We rode. Uh, pretty good. We, uh, we ro most of us rode towards the front, um, and we were involved in the race. I mean, we weren't just sitting in the back or nothing. So that was pretty cool. Uh, and the guys, I think it's chain fell. <laughs> um, but see right here, like it's a perfect time to move up. I just moved up like five or six spots right here. Um, like I said, there's there's always points in the race that that it's you know just a good time to just move up, um, and you don't gotta do too much. Like it's. I think it's like a downhill or like a tailwind here, um, but it was really really easy to, to, to move up here. You can just you know pedal pretty hard and then you can you know, move up. See another of our teammates is attacking up front, and uh, so right here I, I, I see that, and I'm not up there, but there's there's, there's doesn't mean I have to be up there to help him out. So what I do is I start uh, opening up a gap here. So I have two teammates up there actually. So. I'm trying to save energy and it's letting my teammates kind of get away a little bit so um, you can see these riders are coming around me um, which is fine I mean if they do I mean again I'm not working they're working it's making other riders more tired and uh, I'm getting a free ride back to my teammates um, so there's different ways you can work together um, see like this gap is opening up and these guys are like going at it <laughs> Uh, and then right here I decided, you know what, I think I'm going to let this open up as well. So I start opening it up a little bit more too. Um, but eventually they're not going anywhere. They're slowing down up there and, you know, there's only, I'm not going to like go 20 miles an hour. Um, so 
like like I said, like I'm not trying to close this gap. It's a small gap. Someone's gonna come around me eventually. If they don't, well then I'll. So yeah, I'm coming back to these guys anyways. I'm not pushing the pace no more. Um, but like I said, it's just ways to conserve energy. Um, it's best to do it now in the lower categories. Um, so when you get to those higher categories, you know, like, you know, the three twos, uh, I'll probably never go one, uh, category one, maybe not even two. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I'm, I race for fun, you know, I don't race, you know, I don't get paid or nothing like that. So uh, I just do this for fun. Uh, I do this for, you know, just, you know, just love of the sport. Uh, I just like being competitive. So for the reason I do it, uh, I don't do it to uh, get podiums, just be famous or to like get money or nothing like that. It's just fun. I like it. Um, so, um, yeah, it's just a good thing to, to, to learn. You know, it's just learning tactics, learning ways to race. There's millions of ways to race in the criterium. So, uh, just trying to perfect this craft, I guess you could say. And here's another uh, my teammates is attacking up the front, Matt. Um, you can see, like, I, I took that other turn pretty tight. This one. Um, I was okay on, but the other one was pretty tight. I got, I got kind of pushed over left, and no reason to panic. Just take your line, hold it, <laughs> and go through with it. You know, commit to it, man. Um, but see, like uh, my teammate just attacked. Uh, they covered him right away. So I mean, I don't know how he's feeling, but like stuff like that like tires me out. So I can only imagine that. Um, they're getting tired as well doing stuff like that like now they're just slow rolling back um, you know it taxes your legs to do stuff like that attacking the front and then you know getting brought back it, it kind of seems like why bother attacking we're just gonna bring you back so that's why like i said i feel like we could work together like if someone wanted to get away you know we could have all been the front you know took up majority of the front spots and then just controlled the pace made it you know either really slow or like decent pace and let our teammate get away um there's a guy up there trying up the road i think a white kit he he, he attacks on on day two as well he tries to get away in the in the road race but uh, uh our team was on top of it <laughs> we let him uh i think we let him take a whole almost a whole lap by himself in the front but we were right there he wasn't gaining any ground and, like i said it was just and it was really easy because there was like you know you know, it was actually just two of us, like, uh, when we were chasing them, working together, and it was w w way easier just, you know, taking, like, five, ten-second pulls, and then just rotating and just keeping the momentum up and not having to, like, scrub speed on turns and stuff. Like, we were taking them pretty hard. And this guy telling his teammate, get your butt on my, on my wheel. I think he's talking to Tony. Yeah, I think he's looking to Tony. <laughs> uh... I think Tony pops up on one of these. I, c I take a turn really tight with him on one of these. Um, but yeah, but see how, how smooth it is up here in the front versus back there. I'm like hitting brakes, coming at coming on out of turns at 22 miles an hour. Like, come on, over here we're doing 29, coming out of turns like, and the guys in the back are getting you know further and further away from the front um, out of every turn. So like I said, it's just harder to be back there. Oh yeah, this guy goes, and I think it's three to go when he's when he goes, and I'm like, dang it! I was like, I was trying to save energy for the end, and this guy attacks, and you know he's been attacking since the beginning, uh, this junior man, and so I was like, man, this guy's gonna go all the way. I was like, I don't know, and then this guy comes over too. I'm like, dang it! Like I I'm I was trying to save my save my legs for the end, and uh, I'm thinking I have to cover this because. I don't know if he's gonna stay away. Like, look at this gap he has on me. I have a gap on the field too, um, and I, I I start like you know second guessing myself. Like, why am I chasing this back? Like, <laughs> I should just let this go. And <laughs> like you see here, I'm like, oh, <laughs> like I'm already out here. Like, I'm like, why? <laughs> why did I go? <laughs> why did I try to cover this? I just just sat in. They pr the field probably would have chased this down for me. Um, so I think I get to this guy and I'm like, nah. I think I look back and I'm starting to like think, nah, I don't think I wanna get to that guy. Cause I think the fields like start, yeah, they're like right on me I think at this point. I'm like, all right, well, I should probably slot back in to, 
you know, save some energy to help my teammates um, in the lead out. And, uh, but I think, let me see, I don't remember. I know I didn't, ca I, I know I didn't close the gap fully on this, uh, this, this Velo kid. I know I got, I ended up just like sitting up and saying, oh, well. Um, but who knows, maybe if I wouldn't have done this, like the field wouldn't have chased and they would have just let this guy go. Who knows, man? Um, you never know in a race, it's just things change all the time. So it's just one of those things like you have to just roll the dice and, um, you know, you never know. Um, it's like one of my teammates told me, like, you know, you just sometimes you gotta attack, 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 attack until one of the brake sticks. Um, and, you know, this guy is doing the same thing. Like he's attacking, attacking until he's hoping that one of the, one of his break, breakaway attempts uh, sticks. And who knows, this could have been it if I wouldn't have, uh, try to close it and motivate the field to chase, you know, um, cause, uh, I think, yeah, they're right here, they catch, they're here on, they're on my wheel, I think, um, I think I told them, like, hey, there's a guy up the road, um, and of course, another junior, Jack, is chasing it down, I'm like, yeah, see, there's two laps to go, and I'm like, man, I'm kind of tired, I was like, okay, I was like, maybe I can recover one lap, <laughs> hey, there's one lap to go, and, uh, Knowing from previous years, uh, I need to be near the front because at the last lap is super hard in this, and it's really hard to move up on turn with all these turns and stuff. Um, so, <sighs> sorry for the yawning, but uh, yeah, it's too, it's too hard to move up in the last lap, uh, especially all these turns. Um, people get strung out, um, and um, people start fighting for wheels, and it just gets really dicey. So. Um, if you're not in position, it's kind of hard to get in position for the, for the last lap. So right here, I'm thinking I'm, all, I'm okay. I'm still, like I said, I'm still trying to, I want to take a whole lap to recover. Or, you know, take a whole, like, round. Because I just did that, like, you know, pull to try to bring that guy back. Um, which I think they already brought him back. So right here, I'm like, okay, maybe I should move up right here. I see this uh, stage guy moving up. I start going up, and then... Uh, I see my teammate, uh, and I come kind of getting swarmed from the left. I can't really push left. We're gonna make a left, and it's tight. This turn is really tight. Like I see, everyone starts squeezing in. So you can tell everyone's ready to get an anti, and I'm like, oh man. So I'm not trying to crash. Like uh, I broke a collarbone in, the, in this race last year on stage two, on day two. So I'm like, I'm not trying to crash in this race. I want to get through it. Um, even, if, even if I don't, you know, finish in the top 10, I still want to get through the race. Um, people are yelling. I start yelling. Some guy tells me to shut the hell up. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I was like, ah, you know, I'm just, you know, animating the race. Like, you know, letting everyone know there's the attack coming from the left, hoping to chase, you know, get on it. Um, but, like, look where I'm at. Like, I was up, like, you know, maybe top 10 or, you know, and now I'm, like, sitting, like, 20 30th wheel coming into one lap to go uh, like i said this this last lap is always really fast it's really dicey people start fighting for position um people are going like four wide on the turns um, you see this guy in the red <laughs> it looks like he's sprinting with his head down in a, in the field which was kind of like scary you know this guy wasn't paying attention where he was going but i mean i don't know that's the way it looks to me, for all I know. This guy just totally dive bombed this fucking quarter. Oh my god. Excuse my language, but... <laughs> I'm like, the hell? Yeah, like I said, it gets dicey. Today it got dicey. Uh, like, this guy got to, almost gets his front wheel taken out by the guy in the black bibs. Um, so now I'm like, man, I'm not all the way in the front. I don't think I really want to try to get my way up there to the front now. I'm already too far back. Um, I'm not giving up, but I'm also not, like... Uh, trying to get way up there anymore um, I already know that I'm too far back um, to get up there I would have to do some shady stuff you know um, so here I am like going as I'm probably gonna be like okay it's probably as far as I get this guy oh Jack almost kind of <laughs> takes out a uh, stage guy's wheel um, but here like see like people just totally like this guy just shut the door on me like I was gonna take that a little wider but he kind of came in on me the guy in the purple um so see this guy again i was like oh, i'm not gonna let you do that to me i'm just gonna hang back um so 
it's a long sprint so I'm like eh, I'll wait a little while to wind it up a little bit everyone starts passing me I'm like alright well <laughs> that's the race I'm like okay well I think around here I'm like okay maybe I'll give a little bit of a dig I was like let's see I was like yeah I don't got nothing <laughs> Uh, so that was my that was my race, man. I get, I was just uh, involved in the, at the beginning, um, stayed in the front, and uh, and that was it, man. Uh, just wanted to get through the race. Last year was was pretty bad. So uh, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you guys have anything to say about the race, anything you guys noticed, or feel free to leave a comment down at the bottom. Um, and yeah, man. If you guys. Uh, see me in a race or anything like that uh don't be afraid to say what's up to me a couple guys said uh hello to me at the race which is pretty cool um here's a picture of me so if you guys don't know what i look like i'm in a purple kit camera on my head um yeah man until next time thanks a lot for watching oh and don't forget to like and subscribe to this uh, channel i'll be posting more videos as you can see already i post all my race videos on here quick practice videos um yeah man until next time peace